One of the things that I see often in these situations is that when we try to affect change, we hope that it can happen overnight. And that's like the biggest fallacy that you can walk into. Change comes in incremental steps. If you're looking at trying to change your organization, the change management aspect portion is the most important. The idea and the philosophy around iterative design, sure. which is um, really all about human, I mean, that's what human-centered design is based on, customer experience, but um, really living that philosophy is critical because then, you know, the idea of iterative design, as we've all experienced, those failures are learnings. Now, is it's not like how well our products are performing year over year, it's how well are our new products replacing our old products revenue. All of those like incremental time saved, um, one could say, you know, with optimism about humanity, we're going to be more productive at work, or we're going to do more like valuable things. If you overlay that chart with TV time on average per household over the same time, it's completely replaced with content consumption. Um, so the more time we have saved over the last hundred years is just the more time we watch TikTok and Netflix now. Um, so I don't think that trend is going away. Like the content consumption will be there for really sure. We're trying to focus on that human connection, the human experience, especially after the last two years of the pandemic, people feel isolated. They're trying to get back to normal. So there's a real drive and outreach to try and really humanize all communications to really make that connection. As you're moving through this and you're laying out your plans, you're talking to your stakeholders and making sure that your stakeholders are on board with you. If you don't have the stakeholders to back you up with the change that you're trying to get your organization to do, especially when you're trying to move away from a legacy system, you're going to have gaps that you're going to you know, mm -hmm. have to account for later. Um, And in my experience, that's really a lot of what I'm seeing happen in, in a lot of industries is that people are becoming more confident in their abilities and that they're letting more people know that they have great ideas. But it doesn't mean you necessarily always have to be the one to bring that idea across the line. Just be ready and willing to stand up and say, I've got a great idea. People will debate it, they may filter it, and they may assign it to somebody else to get the work done. You may not be the right person for the work but at least be boisterous, stand up and say what you have to say. That's why you're there.